Hey everyone! So today I'm here to review the Galactic Matte Lip Paints. They individually retail for $23 US, they contain 0.25 ounces of product, and they're currently available in 11 shades. They are said to be a richly pigmented lip paint that dries down within a minute to a beautiful matte color without the dryness or flaking. The packaging is your standard gloss style tube and they have a velvet doe foot applicator. The tubes themselves are made out of a very thick plastic and the caps are metal which feels very luxurious and very durable in the hand. They also have a sweet vanilla type scent that can be noticed during application but not noticed throughout wear. The formula is a thicker mousse like texture that is extremely pigmented and dries within 30 to 60 seconds of application. Like with most liquid to matte lipsticks you will want to avoid pressing your lips together while the product is drying. It can cause the color to lift, move around and appear patchy, streaky or uneven in those areas. The color does cling to lips but it never felt overly drying or uncomfortable at all. This formula really doesn't give you that cling wrap tight ugh, feeling to your lips. The matte lip paints are extremely long wearing. They last anywhere between 7 to 10 hours when worn alone. Keep in mind however that layering products underneath like lip balms or layering products over top like lip glosses and also eating any oily foods can cause the product to break down and drastically wear away much faster. Bashful is a medium muted peach beige with hints of brown, warm undertones, and a matte finish. It is also the shade I currently have on today. It applied very smoothly and evenly and had nice opaque coverage. The pigmentation was very strong and easily covered lips without looking patchy or streaky at all. I also didn't experience any cracking or flaking as the product wore away over time. Bashful lasted eight and a half hours before fading. In comparison, Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow was cooler, muted, and more grey. Max Velvet Teddy was lighter and more satin. And the Too Faced Melted Chihuahua was lighter, warmer, and more glossy. Demure is a medium to dark muted Marcella Red with cool undertones and a matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had excellent opaque color payoff. Despite it being a darker shade, I never found that it appeared lighter in some areas or clung to any dry patches or imperfections or looked darker in those areas. It was a very even, solid color. The product never flaked or feathered and it faded away evenly over time. Demure lasted nine and a half hours and left behind a faint stain. In comparison, Colourpop's Mosh Pit was lighter, less red, and glossy. Colourpop's Tool was more red. Kat Von D's Lolita was lighter and more mauve. Kat Von D's Lolita was lighter, brighter, and more red. And Max Whirl was lighter and more brown. Flirtatious is a medium to dark muted red pink with warm undertones and a matte finish. This particular shade had a thicker, more whipped consistency than the rest, but it never affected the wear or made it more difficult difficult to apply at all. It had great opaque pigmentation that smoothed across lips easily and didn't crack or flake over time. Flirtatious lasted eight and a half hours and left behind a stain. In comparison, Colourpop's Be Merry was cooler and more pink. Kat Von D's Double Dare was lighter, muted, and more pink. And Max All Fired Up was brighter and more red. So overall, these are really great lipsticks and they come in a nice variety of wearable shades. While the matte lip paints do sit on the more expensive side, the good news is, is that you're getting twice the amount of product compared to most brands for a similar price. They are honestly just really great lipsticks. The formula is pigmented, they're longer lasting, they're easy to apply, and the true matte finish that they give your lips is comfortable. It never gives you that drying cling wrap feel or look. So whether you're a fan of matte lipsticks in general or you've been interested in trying the Girlactic brand, then these lipsticks are a great place to start and I highly recommend checking them out. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have tried these lipsticks before, if you've tried the brand, or just in general what your favorite liquid lipstick formula is. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have all of my social media listed here as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful and hope that you're having a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching.